This short video explains in basic terms how the semi-condensing boiler system works. Semi-condensing boilers, Dewey and Morel, are fitted with a Genoni premix heat exchangers similar to the one shown in this illustration. The circle design allows for a larger surface area of heat exchanger to be heated. A flat bed type heat exchanger would require a much wider boiler to incorporate the same heating surface area. It is made up of three flattened tubes coiled in parallel, which pass system water from the back to the front of the heat exchanger. The combustion circuit comprises of a gas ratio valve, a modulating fan, injector, and a 360 degree premix burner. The compact design of the heat exchanger ensures the minimum of waste heat by incorporating the primary heat exchanger and post condenser in the same unit. Air is drawn in by the fan, shown in blue. Air passes through the injector when mixes with the gas, shown in blue and yellow. This mixture, shown green, enters a circular burner. The baffle separates the front, approximately two-thirds of the heat exchanger, from the rear section. The gas mixture is ignited around the 360 degree burner. The front section of the heat exchanger is heated by the primary heat, and the unused heat passes through the coils into the jacket. Unused heat then passes through the rear section of the coils, preheating the system water as it enters the heat exchanger. This is where the most of the condensing occurs, producing a majority of the condensate. Exhaust then exits from the rear of the heat exchanger. Condensate produced is then drained from the bottom of the heat exchanger. Unlike conventional boilers which have a fixed speed fan, the gas valve is modulated to vary the output. In this arrangement the gas valve is fixed and the fan speed is modulated. Increasing the fan speed increases the output. Precise control of the fan speed is achieved by the use of a stepper motor. Electromagnets hold the fan from turning. The magnets are turned off and on, allowing the fan to turn. The rate at which they are switched controls the speed of the fan. For optimum condensing conditions, the flow and return temperatures should have a 20 degree differential, with a return temperature of less than 55 degrees.